CSU students were used as paramedics for these demonstrations. Hi there and welcome to this CSU skills video on how to transmit an ECG to hospital. This video is a part of a series of skills videos designed for our paramedic course to assist teaching the practical skills components of our degree program. Today we're going to teach you about how to transmit an ECG. This may be to a hospital's emergency department, cardiology team or directly to a catheter lab. They are also sometimes called PCI facilities. Our aim is to decrease the initial diagnosis and treatment time for the patient. By sending an ECG with the patient information, like last name, hospital number if known, and date of birth, the hospital can look up the patient's previous records and see any pertinent history or other ECGs in the past to compare to. Depending on the level of the paramedic and which state you work in, the hospital can support, confirm or authorise the decision to use thrombolytics in the field. The goal of decreasing the time to find a diagnosis of what is potentially wrong with the patient's heart is really important because we realise that time is muscle. This information can guide our decisions on where to transport a patient to, and where the thrombolytics in the field are necessary. This is also referred to as door to balloon time, or door to treatment time. The research conducted in the pre-hospital care field clearly demonstrates the benefits of early recognition and intervention by pre-hospital care staff. Many paramedics now also carry thrombolytics in the field, which can speed up the treatment process dramatically and lead to improved patient outcomes and long-term cardiac health. The process for transmitting an ECG is actually very simple and this video is broken down into steps so you can review in your own time and take notes if you need to. Firstly, you should prepare all of the equipment and go through the process of informing the patient and gaining consent. Let them know you would like to take a 12 lead ECG and then transmit this to hospital. Explain the benefits of this procedure and discuss any concerns the patient may have. Attach the leads in the correct position and take a 12 lead ECG. You can watch our other video about how to do this if you are unsure of the correct technique. Now you'll need to enter the patient's information and details. The ECG machine we are using today is a LifePak 15 and we will demonstrate how to do this by using this monitor. But if yours is different, you'll need to learn how to do so. Press the options button. This is the button to the right which states options. The top word patient should be highlighted. Press the knob on the right again to select this. Enter in the patient information. Twist the knob to scroll through the letters and press the knob to select the letter. By rotating the knob around the various selections, you can then exit out and back to the menu to transmit. If your LifePak 15 has an onboard modem, then this should be easy. Just press the transmit button on the left side Select the port, then scroll to the site you are transmitting to, as you may be working in a town that has several places who can receive this information. Review the information you are about to send, ensure that the patient's name is spelt correctly and that any other pertinent information is included. Check that the 12 lead is correct and the facilities is highlighted. Then rotate the knob again to the send button and the machine should do the rest. If you do not have an onboard modem, then connect your USB or phone cable, which allows the transmission to happen via the gateway function and follow the above functions the same way. The machine will show connecting at the bottom of the dialog box. After connection takes place, it will show the data uploading. This may take a couple of minutes, so be patient and don't press any other buttons. When it is complete, the machine will print a transmission summary. At this point, depending on which ambulance service you're working for, your choices may be administering thrombolytics or waiting for a call from the hospital for advice about treatment options. Well done, you've now completed transmitting a 12 lead. Mm -hmm. 